Well, out there in YouTube land, it is one rotten day out today. I didn't really have any videos banked anymore, so I thought I'd come out and show you why I don't have a video of me splitting wood or sawing wood or even going outside the uh can you see all that water out there it goes down to the sawmill area this kind of this water here mostly stays the one side of the sawmill out there all that snow up there runs down and gets in the other side of the sawmill i built berms down there that you might have seen them in some past videos but uh basically a crappy day a crappy video <laughs> But I wanted to get something out there so I didn't lose anybody. Thanks for all the comments on the last video I did. That was, uh, I don't know, just a, another one. You can't really get out and do a whole lot. In fact, it's a little windy here. I don't know whether you're going to uh, be able to pick up on this. I hope it's not as bad as the one I did a little while ago. There's a fireplace ring out there. We used to have a lot of... Uh, I guess venues or this is a venue I don't know how to and a lot of parties here for a lot of different groups we've had retirement parties here and we've had uh, Halloween parties here a lot of ch church parties here in the band there's a array of picnic tables out there a generator up there Jeep that the guy couldn't get down and pick up maybe get it this week but uh, one thing we always had a problem with was ice now what kind of got me going on this was there's another youtuber I wish I knew his name, but I, I'm so senile, and I should have wrote it down before I got out here. Real good guy down in Florida. I really enjoy watching all his videos. He's, he's uh, uh, doing a super job. But he did on how he made an ice machine, and I thought that was really interesting. He, he's a real smart fellow. And uh, he did a real good job of making an um, ice machine out of a, uh, what do you call it, a chest freezer. So you ought to go check that out. I wish I knew who it was, but I, I can't remember. I'll put a, I'll write it in the, uh, in my intro, because, because you need to go watch it. Or I'll, I'll put a link because he really did a good job of that. And so then I thought I came out here. I said, well, I'll show a picture of my ice machine. Here's the ice. Um, the ice machine is not running now, and um, it looks like diamonds, doesn't it? Looks like diamonds. Well, I thought I'd come over and show you kind of how how this ice machine works and how I came about it. We'll just set this on the table here. Now, I used to work for the government or school board, or I was a janitor. They had troubles with this ice machine. They had people working on that for year after year after year after year and couldn't get it working, couldn't get it working, couldn't get it working. So they decided to get a new one, and they were going to scrap this one. There's not a whole lot of weight here. This is all just just um, storage. So I asked them, uh, what are you going to do with it? They said they were going to scrap it. And I said, well, I'm interested in it. How much do you think you get for it at the scrap pile? And they said, I oh, would probably get about 20 bucks for it. I said, well, I'll double it. I'll give you 40 bucks for it. And I said, you won't have to have a crew pick it up and take it to the scrap yard. And they said, that's, that's fine with them. So that's what I did. I took it and figured I had to have another friend that can fix just about anything and so we threw it on my truck and after work I went up to his place and we proceeded to work on it the next day I believe I, I don't really it's been so many years ago but uh, we found uh, I think a real small leak in it and there were a lot of uh, a lot of things that were not adjusted right now I'll show you some of how, how it makes how an ice machine makes clear ice I imagine there's different different ways. I've got the there's two screws in it, one here and one there. I'm gonna have to take this screw out. I already got that one loose to show you inside of an ice machine, which might be uh, neat. Here's a couple little things. Those are my uh, those are the bolts that I shoot groundhogs with. There's two two forty threes and little benches there, and this is to jack it up. Just a little add in there. Anyhow, I'm gonna see if I can unscrew this by hand. If I can't, I will. I got it loose. Should, there it is. Here's what the inside of this ice machine works. I don't know if they all work like that, but I'll show you how they work. 
Oh, lordy. That's insulated. The refrigeration unit is in the back with a lot of ventilation. And then uh, this is a, a water pump. I'm going to have to take this front cover off, which it's just it's just plastic. And when it dumps the ice, it comes out like this and dumps the ice down into the holding bin. I'm going to set you here for a second. I'll set you in front of a bullet. There. I got to take this uh, cover off. This um, it's a little a little stiff because it's cold out here. I hope I don't snap that. Huh? It's so cold that it it does doesn't want to come out. Dang on. Thing. Well, I guess. Well, I guess with this, I've never. There it goes. Here's what I had to do. There's just a little clip thing that's got to come up. The other side, it's probably been broken off already. This is where it makes the ice. And what it does is this, this thing here freezes up below freezing temperature and the ice uh, forms on that. Now to make it clear is what makes ice clear or I don't know how to explain this here. This, this is a little float here that fills this little tub up with water. As it fills up, this pump here pumps it up this tube in the back and across and it drips down over this, this part here. And the ice starts to form and builds out. When it gets to a certain point, this is the, this is the bridge here, this makes it um, increase, like makes this the top layer that's all one big solid piece. So you don't want it, you don't want the bridge to be too big. And then the water flows down these and it goes into a trough, goes goes across here and back down in here and, and recirculates. And as it freezes on these little squares and the level goes down, the float goes down and adds more water. This water here gets real chilled and one of the problems they had was they had their water level in here so high that it couldn't chill that much water and was causing cr uh, not to make ice. They had also the bridge up here was way out of adjustment so this the, the top of the ice it was just one solid mass of ice instead of cubes. And there are a few other things. There was also a small refrigeration leak that that was the hardest thing to find because it was so small. But we got that. Anyhow, what makes the ice clear is when the ice dribbles down here, contaminants in the ice are what cause the ice to be unclear. Sometimes it looks opaque. Sometimes it looks like it's got air in it. Um, but it, the contaminants take longer to freeze in the ice. So as the ice slowly gets in here, all the contaminants that don't freeze as fast as actual pure water go down and stay in this this compartment. Now these these little pieces are so small you can't even see them. Okay, that's how small they are, but that's what causes the ice to get if you put it in a um, your refrigerator comes out and you'll see the cubes are not crystal clear. That's why because they're 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 in a flat tray this way and no contaminants get at them. So the contaminants just go to the center or the stuff that won't is not pure water goes to the center and that's what freezes last. Anyhow, so then this builds up to a point where there's big cubes in here now. Okay, then this thing here says we have more ice than we need or the bridge is higher than we need, the cubes are finished and it kicks out and then this changes from cold to warm. Well, when this changes from cold to warm, then all the ice cubes, these are on little angles, which you can't really see it on the video. And then the whole tray comes out and falls down into the bottom. While it's doing that, this switches and pumps from, instead of going up here and around, there's a, you can't see the hose in the back, it goes to a dump thing. So then all this water with all these impurities that are still so small you can't see, get pumped out and thrown away and it, it probably dumps it might dump two or three gallons at a dump I've never really measured it but uh, that's that's how the ice machine works and that's why 
that's how that's how an ice machine makes clear ice. There's no filter on this at all, and we're using well water, and and the ice is clear. If you saw the ice, uh, we'll go back over here where the tray of ice is. You can you can see how I think you can see on here. There's a little divot in there, and that's where the ice that's um, or the contaminants were, so it didn't freeze and it just washed through. It's kind of neat. It's um, and also a, a you know added note in the olden days. I don't know. They still might have it now, or it might be coming back because a lot of things from the past um, come back around. History repeats itself, I guess. They used to have what called center cider parties, and what that was was they let their apple cider ferment, and because that is a contaminant, it would go to the center. The ice would freeze on the outside. And then the contaminants, which was the alcohol uh, hardened cider, would go to the inside and make it more intense. And then they'd poke a hole in the top if they needed to. And then they'd drink that. And they were called uh, cider center parties or something like that. I, I can't really uh, recall what the name of it was. But that was a, a, a story that an old timer used to tell me that they used to do that when he was young. So that was quite a while ago. Anyhow, that's a side story. This thing here, for not having a movie because of all the rain, didn't turn out too bad, I don't think. That's the old ice machine. I'm going to put the cover on, put it back together. Those are the old bullets. You saw the ice, and you see why you don't have a wood splitting show. Look at all that water. We've had over had over a half inch yesterday. Had over. We've, we're already up to almost three quarters of an inch today so and it's supposed to rain again tomorrow so there's not much not much going on here so over and out on a rainy day we'll see you take care